Hi Pisces, hi Pisces, hi Pisces. I'm so sorry every time I have a reading that you are the last ones and you have to wait. But they, we save the best for last, don't we? Okay, so before I start, I just want to invite you to go look at my website, www.crystalmartinet.com or an after or and after you do that, you might want to write to me readings at christelmartinet.com. Hi there, coming into the room. Hi there. Now I'd like you to concentrate. This is the reading for you that's made up of two parts, as all of the other readings are. Think and decide whether you want to choose the right, the center, or the left. Okay, I'm going to mix these cards. This is the Vera Sibila cards that will offer you the reading for first half. I'm cutting it in half, and then I'm going to cut it in three smaller decks. Think, think and decide, right? Or tell me or concentrate and tell me. Pick the right, the center, or the left. Right, the center, or the left. The center. All right, so I take these two, turn them over, and those are cards that indicate what is going on in the immediacy of the situation in January. And then I have, um, I, I will spread five cards in a row and see what comes up. I just love to do these readings. I really do. I really do. And it is um, a pleasure when I can do them live because it, they're so much better. They come out so much better. There's so much more concentration. And I have this... Uh, this energy from of the public that you feel, you really do feel it. Okay, now what are we seeing here? Look, Pisces, the beginning of the year sees you um, almost as if you're thinking that, that you're worried about possibly having health issues, okay? But that just flies away one day, the second day, you are immediately, there's the old lady who speaks to change, the vecchia signora. Here is the doctor, the dottore, and they're right next to each other. That gives way immediately to this. In, so I'm talking about the first, the second, and the third. And today is the third, I believe, isn't it? <laughs> I believe. And um, you feel in immediately this onset of positive energy and and healthy energy so what you know that that sets off the beginning of the year first week right we have the first week there's um something going on in the home or it's either in the home or it's in a company you work for it's either on the home front or in the work front area as a context because i see here there's things there are things that are hidden from you there's a person specifically a man actually, who is working against you and um, is causing, giving you cause for concern. But I also see the cards are indicating with this Belvedere here, which is a, a bright outlook in the future, that tell me, uh, look, Pisces, don't you worry about a thing because whatever's happening now is going to be, you know, solved. Karma really is a bitch in that sense. The second week, Pisces, we see you receiving a gift from an anonymous donor. Okay, of course, these are general readings, and so not everyone is going to get a gift. But but we do have this situation where you receive a gift. It could be as small as someone writing to you who hasn't written to you in a long time, or um, somebody, a little, a child in a playground gives you a little bit of flower, some marigold that they pick. So, and, and it's, it's very slight. It could be very slight. This gives way to the feeling that, oh dear, life is really good. Nothing can happen to me. Uh, nothing can happen to me at all. Uh, there's no place, you, you know, the, the uh, Wizard of Oz, uh, where uh, the, the protagonist in the angel, there's no place like home. This is kicking her heels. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. This is the feeling that you get the second week of January. There's this lightness that you have and a very intimate nature and closeness that you have and that you exude with people. Very warm feeling that you give to people around you. Now we go into the third week. 
And I hit, I find that the third week find, it shows you, uh, ladies and gentlemen, Pisces. And this is Pisces sun sign, Pisces moon sign, and Pisces rising. I see here that um, your ability to speak, your conversational skills, your your conversational skills, your ability to entertain communication in an oral manner is going to be your uh, your strength, especially in terms of institutions. If you work at a university, uh, at a university, you work in the government, you work in a hospital. That is where you need to hone your oral skills and use them to promote whatever you need. I find here. Um, also that you receive the third week um, a message of love. You re receive a message from a loved one. And it is heartwarming. At this is a double-edged sword here. It, it's heartwarming because you're so happy you received it. At the same time, you're sad. It causes sadness because you won't be able to see that person. Part of the message that is given to you has to do with their being out of town, out of the country, and they're not going to be able to see you or simply busy. Then we close the month. We close the month of uh, uh, January here with on, on a nostalgic note where you turn and you think of the past, potentially with that person, it could be that person that makes you think of that, the past. And, um, and you think of the intimacy that you had with them and, and how interesting it was. And you only think of the good part of that relationship. Even if it wasn't a full-blown relationship, you only think of the good parts that, that you had, the good times and the heartwarming times that you spent with them. Now I'm going to take the um, runes to crown the reading and let's see what they have to say, Pisces. Oh, sorry really beautiful some of them are really beautiful some of them are really full, beautiful the, the uh, runes are telling you look Pisces it's not going to be easy the first week of, of January mark my words it's not going to be easy but what is interesting is that once that first week is coming to an end and we're in those days now we're going to the weekend you will be full of success for your efforts. And plus, not only do I have um, Soilo here, which is representative of the sun of success, I have also Ingvats, Ingvats. And Ingvats too shows you a, a similar to um, monocle that you can look through in the future and you know that up ahead there is success in your cards, okay? Even when in, in the most difficult of times, and I'm talking, of, you know, towards the weekend, it's going to be a little difficult, uh, maybe for you at the end of this first week. Then I see here, Pisces, you're, you're, uh, uh, you're specifically attuned, delicate nature of, um, of uh, psychic ability, your intuition that's so honed is going to work highly for you is going to be extremely attuned, especially um, in the second week, because you're going to use those powers that only a, a, a Pisces has to be able to work toward an, a goal that has to do with your career, your work, your project, your business, your uh, profession. And here too, the, the runes are telling me, giving me two important messages. One with Anzus and another with Yera. They're telling me that you need to use your voice, your oral skills to communicate in this regard. The more you meet personally with people, the better it is. Not only, there is um, a, an element of time involved here. So it's not going to happen right away in the month of January. It might go down. This is a year project. Your Oral skills need to be honed because they are the ones that are going to get you out of the jams, out and into the, uh, the, a funneling process of success. Not bad, Pisces. I would, they say in Italian, ci metto la firma. Where do I sign? Okay, so now I'm going to pull these cards up and then I'll go into the second part of the reading. And the second part of the reading involves a deck, a uh, tarot deck that's called the golden edition, the gold edition of the Egarov tarot. It's a uh, Russian deck I picked up when I was there. 
And I love it. I just love it. The difference with this tarot deck in relation to other tarot decks is that some of the major arcana have different names, but they have also different meanings. And when they come up, if they come up, I'll discuss that. So in the first part of the reading, it's I told you that it was valid for uh, Pisces, moon, sun, and rising signs. Here too, when I talk about Aries in relation to you, uh, and the rest of the signs in relation to you. It is the airy sun, moon, or rising, if you know them, in relation to you, okay? These are people, of course, it's not uh, the case that you may have um, people from all different zodiac signs in your life, but this is a general reading, so I'm putting them out for those that have those people in roles, particular roles. I'm going to talk about what they mean for you in January. So this is... Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo and Virgo, Libra, Libra, Sagitt um, Scorpio, Sagittarius, then Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces, a fellow Piscean or you yourself. Let's take a look at these and I'll show you them. Um, the two of swords here, the two of swords as an Aries person, ladies and gentlemen, Pisces, the two of swords is a person who will challenge you to a match of intellectual rationality, if you can understand those words, if, if I'm expressing myself. This is a person who is going to say, okay, if this is what you think, run it past me and let's see if I understand and let's see if I can call you out on certain parts. So this is a person who is going to be sort of a devil's advocate, more as an antagonism, an antagonist. Then we have this um, Pice, a Taurus person in your life represented by the Knight of Swords. This is a fast, 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 and I'll say again, a fourth time, fast moving person, this tourist person, and this, you won't even see them coming. When they want something from you, they will come and they will be swift with it. The challenge here with the tourist person in your life, could be a relative, uh, anything, on the job or whatever, is that you won't see them coming. And that element of surprise may take you off balance. So get prepared for something like that. Then we have the Gemini person as represented by the card of the Knight of Wands. Another knight, another very fast moving, not as fast as that Taurus, but the Gemini here in the form of a Knight of Wands is a person who's going to bring you, instill you with creative energy and passion for your efforts and what you want to do. If you're missing energy, they are the ones to keep close because they will help you in your creative efforts. Then we have here the page of coins. Interestingly, the page of coins for the cancer person in your life potentially is, is can be, okay, it's not is, can be a younger person, can be a younger person who, whose role it is, to shine some light into your life the month of January. And if you have any doubt, any spiritual doubt, or any spiritual shortcoming, this is the person to have close by because they will show you a way. They will show you, they will bring you actually to an area of light. So then you will become illuminated in certain aspects of your life in January. Leo, the queen of coins represents a Leo person in your life. And this too talks of spirituality. It's beautiful to see these coins uh, coming into the um, spread for you in January. The um, Leo person in your life is a person who, yes, has, ha has their feet firmly planted on the ground in the month of January. And yes, too, are walking on the light side of the path Okay, They are a person who will not only bring you and guide you, there are persons who are in the light. If you need guidance, go to them. This is not a guide. This is a person who's there for you to go to. Maybe a person older than you or old, who's older of a spirit. Then I get excited. Then we have the Ten of Wands. This is a Virgo person who's represented by the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands here is also 
a card that not especially positive in and of itself, but it does talk of an end of a difficult cycle. So the, the uh, Virgo in your life who may have had a heavy burden, who wanted to share it with you, is this is no longer the case. It comes in January to the end of that cycle. So then if you had difficulty uh, costing them or being close to them, now's the time that you know that that is over, that heavy period is over. Then we have Libra. Libra is represented by the Nine of Swords. Now, um, this is a person who will instill fear. Now, I'm not saying that Librans do that. But in the month of January, in relation to you, if you have a person, uh, a Libra person in your life, you may want to keep them at bay if you can't deal with fear. If you can, then you have the element of choice. You can do with them what you want. You can even maybe, maybe even instill fear in them. I'm only joking. Then we have Scorpio. Scorpio is represented by the Eight of Swords. Well, this the role of this Scorpio person in your life, I have trouble with my hearing, is, um, is this. They will not hold you back. They will not hold you back from doing things. What they will do is make you more or less conform to the status quo. They will definitely uh, convince you against risking anything. That's true. Don't go to these uh, people in the month of January if you're looking for somebody to, to um, get counsel in terms of a venture that you're involved in. Then we have um, Sagittarians here are represented by the Ten of Coins. This is a lovely person, an absolute lovely person, that together with the Leo and together uh, with the um, Cancer are people who will guide you to light. Okay, we said that the um, uh, uh, we said that the Leo person was light, was in the light. You would go to them here. Uh, this this um, Sagittarian is a person who. I don't want to say everything they touch, it turns to gold. But if you need help in understanding how to think in terms of light, true light, it's not even this, it really is light. Being a light worker shows you that uh, there are energies, all right, they're all energies, we are, we are energy. And it's very important to realize that your thoughts are energy. This is very, if I can give you one bit of advice, Pisces, is to remember that your thoughts are actions in energetic terms. This person is something, someone you want to keep close because they're going to make you understand that. Then we have Capricorn. Capricorn is um, represented by the three of coins here. Okay, the three of coins. And the three of coins, again, similar to uh, the Cancer, to the um, Leo, to this a Sagittarian here is a person like also the Aquarian you'll see that I'll tell you next. That's also Coins card. This is a person who not only is in light like the others, but here, this is a person who has recently understood what it meant, what it means to make a qualitative jump, spiritually speaking, and understand when you go off of your path and how to get on your path. They'll coach you in this type of, of work. Then we have this great presence of the Aquarian here in your life, which is represented by the Seven of Coins. And the Seven of Coins, I differ from other tarot readers perhaps in my interpretation of this, and especially here for you. This is a person, if you take a look at this card, take a look at this card. This is um, a card. The Aquarian will uh, show you that being in the light is awe, is, is awe. You are in awe. You will become in awe. And I don't want to use the term like the Americans often say, awesome, you know, and, and generally that it loses its meaning, but it is awesome. And I'm going to put that in the, in the title, you know, January is awesome. And you'll understand, awesome light for you. Then we have this, um, this beautiful uh, ending card, the, the ending card in, the term, in terms of the last zodiac sign, which is Pisces, you yourself, is the Page of Cups. Now, this holds true. If there is a Pisces, a fellow Piscean in your life, 
this is a younger person, a younger soul with regards to you. Could be even be a younger age person, a sibling uh, uh, if, or a daughter, son, things like this, um, who will not bring you love, but bring you a gift of love, of unconditionality. Show you what it means. Uh, show you what unconditionality means. What does it mean, this unconditional love? Unless you really, really experience it in your life. You really don't understand it. And if this is you yourself, because you don't have another Piscean in your life, it is the beginning in the month of um, of January to truly understand what an unconditional life means. Pisces, I'm so glad that I was able to give you this message. Please uh, like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And um, have a wonderful January. And until we read together again, namaste, ladies and gentlemen. It was a pleasure. Bye-bye. I'll be back soon.